Hi guys, Tron Collector here. This here is my Funko Pop collection. It's small but cute. I am an in-the-box collector, as you can see here. Uh, I feel that uh, keeping them in the box keeps them nice, it keeps them dust-free, etc. I don't plan on selling any at the moment, but I feel that uh, I've had bad experiences with other figures, uh, packages getting sun damaged and having to bring them out, and I got to dust them and ugh. So anyways, this is my uh, current pop collection uh, as of today's date, which is January the 2nd, or June 2nd, not January, June the 2nd, 2019. And I like to display them numerically, starting from the right to the left, okay? Uh, keep in mind, people, I am in an apartment here, and these are actually sitting on the windowsill, and my apartment faces west, so I'm trying to avoid contrast from the sun. So anyways, to show up my collection. Somehow my collection start off with the Incredibles down here. So you see, see there, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl, Violet. Need to get Violet Chase, but that's forthcoming. Screen Slayer, Elastigirl on her last cycle there, which is a Christmas gift for my fiance. Very nice. Underminer and Harry Potter's Hedwig there, that's actually my fiance, it's, it's going to be go in her collection there when uh, I start it for her in another room. Same with Rainbow Bright there, it's going to be going to her collection soon. And now the reverse look at my Royal uh, Funkos, Harry Potter, and Harry and Meghan on their wedding day. And by the way, thanks for shaving Harry. If I was Meghan, I would have said, told him to shave his beard, but okay, what the heck. Then Kate. Princess Diana in a black dress, and two of the Queen. Now, what I still need is I still need Diana in a red dress, Charles and William. So if anybody out there has those figures for sale, especially if, if you live in the Toronto area, and are willing to give me a good price, then please let me know in the comments. Next, to start out my musical Funkos. I like to collect all of them in this series. I think that completes them. Here's James, Lars, Kirk, and Robert, all from Metallica. My only GNR so far, Axel. Angus Young, which I'm surprised they only made one figure from ACDC. I'm a little shocked by that, but okay. Two of Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain is actually among my first ever three Funkos. The other one is Joey Ramone, Joey Ramone, which you'll see in a minute. Mitch from Baywatch. I need to get CJ out, but I will. Shazam, which is a, a surprising Funko because I haven't even seen the movie yet, but I like Zachary Levi. And there's Joey Ramon right there. Him and Kirk Cobain are my very first Funkos I ever got, so from the same store. So Alice as well, I have to get another, another one of him. And again, the reverse look at my favorite band of all time. Yes, I'm a crew head. Motley Crue, my favorite band. So I'm here with Tommy, reverse order. Tommy. Nick Mars, Vince Neil, and Nikki Six. As I said, these are reverse order because my, my numbering begins from the right to the left. Up here is another movie I have yet to see, but I think the Funkos look cool. Captain Marvel, the cat, reverse look, Nick Fury, can you pronounce, Gloria, Talos and the verse there, and then the last two up here from that line, which supposedly glow in the dark, but I've never have tested it yet. Cat the Marvel and Goose the Cat, which what looks like an octopus in the cat's mouth. But as I say, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know what that actually is in the mouth there. You, if you've seen the movie, then you know what it is. And to finish, finish you off this, uh, the, the south wall here. Our Nightmare Before Christmas Funko there, which uh, I get on my fiance, so they're, they're going to wind up in her collection eventually. And then my two James Bonds, I will be getting more of him. And my beginning of my Modern Family Funko is Mitch. So these are all on my, what I call my south, my south window, south wall. So that was, was the beginning of my collection there, and now I'm going to move the camera over to my north wall, quote north wall. The other, another, another window sill. As it goes to contrast, you see I told you I'm on a boat, I'm on an apartment there, and I face west. So, 
I get the we get the afternoon sun. Or we get the morning sun, I'm not sure what should we get. I think it's afternoon in there. Anyways, this is the beginning of my north wall here. To start off with. A uh, collection I'm very I was very happy to be able to get. Lion King with Simba, Scar, Timon, and Pumba. Uh, those are just the regular ones. I have yet to get the Lua ones. And Rafiki. Up here is Rafiki with Simba under the Disney name. And what I got yesterday was Nala. I was surprised that they sell them under the Disney name there and the other ones are under the Lion King name. I don't know how they, how or why they did that. I still need to get a couple more. But I don't know why they're not under the Lion King name, but they are. I still need to get a couple more of them. My only Suicide Squad right now is Rick Flag. A character I grew up watching on TV, as I'm sure many people did. Mr. Rogers and his old trolley car. I thought that was so cute. And then another one from, from my fiance, which she wanted me to buy, which is in my collection for now, but it's going to go in her collection soon. Sabrina Spellman. And now I'll sign off my Ghostbusters line up here, one that I just got, got, which I got just yesterday. Peter Beckman there, played by Bill Murray, a funny guy. Then Slimer and the Library Ghost. I picked these two up on the store free for 30 because I figured, well, the two ghosts here, they won't last too long in the store. The other characters will be, uh, be able to get them anytime. So I, so I snatched these two up there. Because I'm an in-the-box collector, I know sometimes it's tough to see detail on these Funkos there. As this, as the library goes here, is actually on a base. It's because it's supposed to be floating in the air. And the slammer here is actually eating but some call hot dogs, other people call sausages, so I know it's a little tough to see in the box, but that's how I display them, to keep them good. I actually have a, a unique board up on the uh, windows here to, to block out the sun, which I'll show you in a second. And I am a huge Toronto Maple Leaf fan, because my name is Toronto Collector, I am based in Toronto. So my only two NHL figures right now are two of my favorite team, of course, Freddy and Austin. And they're in their, what some people call the home colors. And they call, the fans are now calling their, their white jerseys their away colors. Although when I grew up there, it was just the reverse. The white was for the good guys, for the home team. And the dark colors were their away colors. Now it is just reversed. I don't know how it got reversed, but it seems to be now it's reversed. So there are those two guys. I've yet to get Morgan Wiley and Mitch Marner, but I will be soon. And hopefully these two in the white jerseys. And then my last ones I got just yesterday are my Jaws got three guys from Jaws. Quint, Matt, and the Chief. And these Funkos here have amazing detail right down to the cigarette in the Chief's mouth, a bucket of chum, and a little spoon or a little scoop with some chum in it there. And Matt Hooper here has his glasses on, hat on, and his little backpack. Quinn has his harpoon and a hat. Very, very good detail. Now, here's a trivia question for you. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, which is down below. Hit the subscribe button next time. We'll be uh, updating these videos as I go along there, so it won't just be one video and then that's it. I will be updating these videos soon, so if you like what you see, please subscribe and feel free to comment. Now, here's a trivia question for you viewers. Here are the three. Uh, Main, main main characters from Jaws, the Chief, Matt Hooper, and Quint. Do you remember the, the names of the actors who played them? If you remember the names of the actors who played them, please put that in the comments below. You won't get anything other than the knowledge that you answered the trivia question online. But I would love to see the comments uh, and the answers to how many people know the answers to that question. Who, what are the names of the actors who played the three characters? I know the answer, but it's a trivia question, so I'm not going to say it right now. Okay, and my last Funko right now, I'm very proud of. Yes, I am a Game of Thrones fan, and I, I, I only have one of them so far because I subscribed to Pop in the Box, and he's the one I got from, so far from Pop in the Box here. Jon Snow, like he's a Castle Black. Very nice detail there, with, with the sword and everything. Very nice detail. I'm sorry to see the Game of Thrones series end there, but I have them all on DVD except for Season 8, of course, so I can watch them anytime. So 
So these are my Funkos for now. What I use to protect my Funkos from the sun, in case you're wondering, I mentioned it before, I told you I would, I would uh, talk about it later. I use boards. I use this poster board, like you'd use for school projects. That's what I use to protect my windows there. I put this very thin, it's like very thin cardboard. And, and ironically, it's white to match the new windows they put in last year. So they, they attach to the windows with just two sided tape. They're very thin and they're easy to put on the windows. And then I can put hooks on, on them for my other figures. Like I, I have other figures here, as you can plainly see there. And I use just the regular picture hooks, picture hooks to hold them on the, the poster board. So it comes in quite handy. I, I have other figures there, which I might in the future be selling to make room for more Funko. I don't know yet, but as of right now, I love all my figures. As you can see there, there's there are Twilight figures right down, there attached to the poster board there. So anyways, this is my Funko Pop collection for now so far. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe, because I'll be updating it soon. And hit the like button there. And feel free to leave me some comments. So this is Tron Collector saying, thanks for watching.